better run, man. Life's a pain, but you got me. Yeah, life's a pain, but I got you. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. In this episode, I just want to do for fun. So this one is just a shout out to Otis Winston. Uh, Otis is a really great actor and a very nice guy. Has stayed in touch with me, like a couple people, like Jared Bankins and, and Martin Batts Bradford, uh, who were in the first Venom movie, um, and Ariadna, like the, who was in the first Venom movie. These folks have been really nice keeping in touch with me and checking in from time to time, and it's been awesome. It, it really has. It's been my pleasure to even have any conversation with these talented people. And Otis is one of those guys who's very active. He's very positive. He's, you know, going out, getting new roles all the time. He's been in a bunch of stuff recently. So I'll put a link to his Instagram down below. Make sure you go and subscribe or follow that guy over there and check out his stuff. Really, really nice guy. And I just see big things, you know, continuing to come for this guy. He was in that movie with Gerard Butler recently uh, on the airplane movie. I think it was called Plane. Um, you know, so really great. He's in a lot of stuff. So Speaking of a lot of stuff, though, he's actually one of the few actors, other than, you know, Tom Hardy himself and uh, Reed Scott and Michelle Williams, who's been in both Venom movies. Uh, you know, Otis was in the first Venom movie as a guard, you know, chasing down Eddie and stuff like that. And he had a, you know, a small part to play in that first movie, but he developed a character. You know, everyone, like my old roommate in California, um, you know, Victor, he used to always talk about, yeah, I know, I just, I was in Hangover Part 2, you know, and I was in the airport and I, you come up with these little things like, you know, cause you, you, you get swept up in, you know, surrounded by these great actors and, and this set and, you know, these great directors and writers and stuff and you get swept up in it. And even though your character may just walk by, you might in your head go, yeah, my character was thinking about how he's going to be late, you know, on to his first date with this girl or, you know, or whatever. And, uh, you come up with these little things and, and to kind of help suck you into the world a little bit more. And so, you know, I see Otis post stuff like that, you know, sometimes about, you know, playing these characters and, and what he was thinking about, you know, people that might've inspired him, you know, and how he carried himself for a scene, you know, uh, stuff like that. And it's great. It's see, it's cool to see that process, uh, on, you know, on posts where people are willing actors and, and people are willing to share that stuff. It's really awesome. Like my favorite is, uh, is obviously Peter Cullen who plays the voice of Optimus Prime and him telling that story that the voice of Optimus Prime comes from his brother. His brother was in the military and, uh, his brother, he told his brother, he's like, yeah, I'm going to go and audition for this role for a truck that turns into a robot. And he's the leader of this robot race. And uh, his brother goes, Peter, listen, like, don't play the leader of these robots cheesy, like in screaming and yelling, you know, like you see on movies and stuff like that. You know, he's like, don't do it like that. Like leaders, a good leader is calm. He has a calming voice, but a demanding and powerful voice. Um, and he can be vulnerable at times, you know, he can lower his register and, and accept sadness uh, and grief. But when, you know, you need the troops to rally behind you and believe in you, that's when, you know, you convey and, and project this amazing energy. And Peter listened to that and his brother's cadence and while he was talking and how he sounded and was like, that's how I'm going to play Optimus Prime. So you get actors that get inspired by everything, whether you have, you're a major role as a leader of the Autobots, or if you're playing you know, a smaller role and you're, it's your first day on set and you just got a one day shooting schedule, whatever it is, you know, you put your all into it, you do your best. And, uh, and Otis, I think does that really, really well. And that's why he continues to find work uh, where he ends up on camera next to some of the biggest actors out there uh, and him himself becoming a huge actor now. Uh, so I'm a big fan of this guy and he was a guard in the first Venom movie. And then in the second Venom film, he was actually pushing a cart by outside of Eddie Brock's window when Eddie and Venom were fighting each other and stuff and having their lovers quarrel, you know? So, uh, so Otis is really cool. Cause I was thinking, I was like, you know, I wonder, do you, do you, I wrote him the other day and I was like, do, you know, commented and stuff. And I was like, do your characters have a connection? Like is, is the guy pushing the cart? And I think we talked about this on the show before, but uh, I wanted to make a, a specific video on it. Um, you know, did your, was he like a, a down on his luck? Like he was a guard and at the life foundation and then the life foundation got dismantled, you know, after Carlton Drake and the ship blew up and everything and riot. And so now he's down on his luck. Maybe, you know, his you know wife left him or whatever. And now he's pushing a cart. He doesn't have a job and he's pushing his cart and he just happens to be outside of Eddie's apartment at that time. And I'm like, well, if that's the case and what's the evolution, what's the third Venom movie for Otis Winston? Like, you've got to come back and be in the third one. And he's like, oh, that would be awesome. You know, I would love that. But, um, you know, I, I you know, let you tell your local congressman or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, no, you're right. We should make a video on this because I would love to see Otis come back. And I would love to see, you know, now that I've built this little you know, uh, storyline for his character. 
I want to see what his character does. Like, where does he go now? Like he's down on his luck. He's, you know, rough in the second movie, but so was Eddie. So now Eddie's, you know, comfortable being Venom. They're the lethal protector. They're out there saving the day. So where does Otis go? Like, is, is his character going to go on? And I think he named his character after a relative of his or something. So again, inspired by, you know, real life stuff. And I would love to see where his character goes next. You know, if he becomes a guard again, maybe he gets a, you know, a new job for the jury. You know, maybe uh, if symbiotes invade, he gets his own symbiote because, you know, he briefly bonded to one in the second movie or whatever. Like, what what is it? What's the story going to be uh, with Otis's character? So if you have an idea and you want to share it down below, let me know. Um, but I just, I like this kind of stuff. And this is, uh, again, I want to do something special for Otis because I think he's a great guy. And I would love to see Otis in the third Venom film. So if there's anyone out there that happens if one of my 20 views on this video is someone who's worked on the Venom movie or is working on it, um, you know, no writing involved. Just get Otis out there on set, you know, have him play a role and conclude his character. And I'll make up the story in my head if I have to and share it here with the parasites. Uh, so yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, would you like to see something like this? I do. I Deadpool had a character that would show up in the comic book sometimes. And he was like a random guard uh, for Hydra, I think, a Hydra Bob or something like that that he would run into. And, uh, and I think Otis could be that here in the Venom universe. And I, I would love to see that. And, uh, and if one, one day I ever get to write a Venom comic book, I will include his character. I will make sure of it. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts again down below and we'll keep talking down there. And Otis, man, keep up the good work. You're a positive dude. I love you, man. And uh, I wish nothing but the best for you and the way you work and how hard you work and uh, the, the positivity you have and the great family you have and the stuff you share online. I have no doubt more success is coming your way very soon, man. So uh, I wish you all the luck. And everyone out there, thank you so much for watching this video. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace.